anyone hit record when Blaze was reading the parchment? There are going to be consequences for Blaze reading from the parchment of power. There are always going to be consequences. The parchment of power's ability to conjure walls of fire is, as Stark would say, a feature, not a bug. Strange also said don't read the parchment of power. A lot of times. So many times that I listened. I wish my phone could summon fiery partitions. I wonder if there's a spell for that. It could be useful to have an audio version of the Parchment of Power. So, now that Blaze read the evil page, are we doomed? How long does it take for the apocalypse to set in? thousand worlds just saw the parchment of power. There goes our element of surprise. It was disturbingly reckless of Johnny Blaze to read that page. No single spell in the dark hole comes without price. <laughs> now more than ever, we must destroy the... Ah, Hunter. Just who I was hoping to see. I understand you've already been on the hunt with Blade, so you're aware of our unusual visitor on the grounds? Yes, we encountered something Blade called the Bargast. His instincts were correct. I believe it is indeed the Bargast, or someone's attempt at creating a facsimile of one. Is the Abbey in danger? Not unless we provoke it. However, it seems to harness a dark magic similar to what courses through the barrier. I need you to track this bar guest, capture it, and bring it to me here in the forge. But please, don't kill it. It's my hope that I can find a way to use its magics to break through the barrier to the lab. After battling Hydra agents and Fallen, Tracking a pup on the Abbey ground sounds like a vacation. Do not let your guard down, Hunter. As I said, it's no ordinary dog, but a demonic entity. I suggest you bring Blade and Wolverine with you. I believe the portal will soon be at its apex. I'll do my best to keep it stable until you can cross. I'll see you there, Hunter. Track the beast quickly. Time is of the essence. Johnny Blaze didn't get the don't read from the evil Grimoire. Man. In Blaze's defense, Strange does send out a lot of memories. Oh, you are gonna love this. Wow, Blaze didn't hesitate to read. Is that Latin? Mine's rusty. Also, did Old Skullhead just damn us? More coil for me? Always up for a challenge. Sometimes I even impress myself. Hunter.
of flame? I bet they saw that in space. I wonder if it spelled anything. Never seen a book create a wall. Especially practice makes perfect. Dangerous, but I did not expect gouts of fire belching into the sky. I was thinking more like curses. Johnny's a damn good ghost rider, but he sucks at following simple instructions. Blaze really screwed us over on this one. He sent up a supernatural beacon saying, we have the parchment of power here. Please, hothead, but you wouldn't act recklessly with the parchment. Please just plays by his own rule. Okay, yeah, Blaze is pretty reckless. Something to keep us occupied? So, not my best work, but it'll do. Don't forget to write. Let's do this. Blaze tempts fate all the time. Guy's got very little respect for things more powerful than himself. How can we help you, Hunter? Must be him. You find more coil, send it my way. Ready to work? Ah, uh, it's hard to keep these fangs sharp. Bit my tongue once? Thankfully, it grows back. I am indebted to you. Time's wasting, Hunter.
think that time to take it to the next level. New and improved. Stay on your toes, Hunter. You really seem to know yourself. All right, I'll allow it. Stay on your toes, Hunter. We ain't built for this. I disagree. We can still defeat my mother. No. You and me, doing this? Living weapons ain't designed to relax. Can make a fella downright resentful. I can relax. I'm relaxed right now. But good for you. I guess I'm the defective one. But anyone who knows me could have guessed that. If I didn't know better, I'd think you read my mind. Hunter, good to see you. Stay on your toes, Hunter. Stay on your toes, Hunter. Johnny Blaze put us all in. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll be direct. I overheard you, Nico, and Magic talking in the chapel last night. I hope you three are not planning another foolish excursion to rescue you-know-who. Nico and Magic care for Wanda deeply. So deeply they are having a hard time letting her go. Hunter, I need you to be straight with me. Are they planning another attempt to save her, yes or no? Nico did not want me to tell you, but yes. Yes, they are. Ah, I knew it. Is this Nico's crackpot idea that she can lift corruption? It is. Unbelievable. If she doesn't get herself killed, she will surely take down whoever helps her. Thank you for telling me. I will speak to her as soon as we're done here. In the meantime, is there anything else you'd like to know? Or tell me. Why did you keep the parchment's location a secret from us? Uh, are we on that again? We are. Remember the wall of fire spectacle Blaze caused? You mean the wall of fire that engulfed the Solus? That was the result of Blaze reading the parchment, which is why I kept it away from this abbey. I care too much about the Suns to expose them to that kind of danger. So, I gave it to Blaze. It wasn't to deceive the team. It was to protect them. So what you are telling me is that you did not feel the need to protect Blaze? As I'm sure you've gathered, Blaze is someone who not only can take care of himself, but prefers to. My concern is for the Midnight Suns and their well- Blaze's well-being is not my responsibility. Now, is there anything else? What if we remove the corruption somehow? You already know the answer to that, which is why I suspect you just told me of Nico's plan. It's impossible. 
Now that we know where the page is, it will not be long until Lilith finds it. No doubt. Do you... I mean, have you considered Lilith does not have a choice in the matter? What do you mean? She sold her soul to Cathan, right? For unlimited power, yes. But does that not mean she is compelled to serve him? Even if she does not want to? What? Are you actually feeling sorry for her? Because she made her choices long ago. Perhaps there is a part of me that does pity her. Don't waste your pity on her. She doesn't deserve it. It was her decision to sell her soul to an evil elder god. She knew what she was doing. I have a favor to ask. Oh? When you talk to Nico and Magic, please go easy on them. They mean well. I know. I just can't have them continue to endanger themselves or anyone else over this. Just be gentle. They are still grieving their friend. I'll take that into consideration. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. We'll talk more later. Oh, Hunter. Thanks for your honesty today. We don't know the forces we're meddling with. We might as well have emailed our location directly to Hydra. Grizzly old biker dudes. They just do whatever they want. Oh, might as well have handed the page over to Lilith. Well, if anyone was wondering what happens when the good guys use the evil book, Johnny Blaze has you covered. See you soon. No point in hiding it, Hunter. I already got a whiff of that demon dog you're after. Blade said I gave you two the slip the other night. I want in on the next run. Perhaps that is what our hunt is missing. Your positive attitude. Me? Positive? That's a new one. But I am curious about this mystery dog of yours. This supernatural beast roaming the Abbey grounds has proven difficult to track. It only seems to appear at night. Still, Strange thinks it may be critical to breaking through the barrier. Blade's no slouch, and I've seen you in action. This thing must be the real deal if it's given you trouble. It is a Barghest. It resembles a hound, but it is not. It is a spectral omen of death. I thought I smelled a weird doggy odor out by your old crypt. I chalked it up to the side effects of your resurrection. I do not smell like a dog, thank you very much. <laughs> ah, I'm just busting your chops. You smell a lot worse than a dog. This beast is vitally important. You say you picked up the scent near Hunter's Folly? Yeah, that's right. If I went back there, I could probably pick it up. No sweat. So... I'll meet you there? Did you just invite yourself along? Bet your ass I did. I'll see you at the Folly tonight. See you at Hunter's Folly. Alright, Blade. Don't jerk me around. What do you really know about this demon dog stuck in the woods out there? Figured you'd pick up the scent sooner or later. But it's not just another shadow hound. There's something off about this thing. Yeah, that's why I asked. We tracked it across the grounds, almost had it too. Until it escaped through a big red portal. The dog opened a portal? Someone did, and it wasn't magic. Strain suspects Hydra. Hydra experimenting on their own recruits is one thing. But animals? That just pisses me off. I'm with you on that. <laughs> mm, something smells of shadows and mud. Is this visit business or pleasure? We have work to do. 
Then let's not waste any more time. What's going on? I spoke with Strange. He believes the Barghest is more important than we originally understood. I also talked with Wolverine. I know it was not easy for you to admit that we lost the creature. I'll get over it once we capture that damn thing. You will have your chance. The Doctor feels it is imperative that we capture the creature as soon as possible for his research. When is it ever not imperative with these guys? Wolverine has agreed to join us. I assume you have no issue there. The more the merrier. We should start up at Hunter's Folly. That's the last place I saw this thing's tracks. Wolverine also smelled something in that area, so it is agreed. Then I'll see you tonight at the Folly. Stepped in some of Charlie's left behinds. Charlie would not stop barking this morning. Somebody bought me an America's Dad coffee mug, and now I can't find it. Just saying, Abby could use a cat to counter Charlie's big dog energy. Mystics are opening a gate. You've got to stop them. There's no telling what might emerge. You're wasting your time, but whatever. for us as arrogantly as you have. Prepare yourself. That's one mystic out. yourself blindly for Lilith? You are more foolish than you look.
digging deeper, reaching for something to call for. Never my Focus right now. My purpose is clear. You just made a big mistake. We've knocked another mystic out of the ritual. Almost there. yourself. Another encounter with me. Bahydra! Submit. Heal her face. Hey, that hurt. Soon they arrive.
it now. some help here. Should have known better. Pull back and regroup. Has she commands? Okay, that actually hurts.
tattle much, Hunter? What is wrong, Nico? What's wrong? Are you freaking serious? You ratted on us, Hunter! You went to Caretaker and tattled about my spell to remove Wanda's corruption. You almost blew the whole plan. I am just tired of all the lies, Nico. When Caretaker confronted me about her suspicions, I just wanted to be honest. You know what? This is my fault. I should have known better than to think you'd have my back. Oh, you're gonna make it up to me, though, by pulling the spell off. Get some beauty rest. If you're gonna save Wanda tomorrow, I, I need you at the top of your game. Good night, Nico. Yeah, yeah, you too. <laughs> you smell it, Hunter? That ain't right. There's something dangerous creeping around out of here. Present company excluded. That is the scent Blade was tracking. Blade, huh? Yeah, he's got a pretty good nose for this kind of thing. Not as good as mine, though. Feel like snooping around? Let us get this thing. Okay, I like that attitude. Grab your dog and follow me. Where'd you get that dog, anyway? I know it ain't from the Pound. It is a long story. We got time. When I was younger, Lilith would send wave after wave of her children to attack the Abbey's defenses. I trained with Agatha and Caretaker by clearing out whatever monsters were lingering around the perimeter. One day, an entire pack of Shadowhounds tried to swarm the gate. They did not have much of a chance against us. And when the smoke cleared, there was Charlie, the lone survivor. Didn't have the heart to finish the job? I do not know what it was. Something about the look she gave me. I could not put her down. She was sleeping at the foot of my bed by the next night. Sounds like you got yourself a friend for life. portal stayed open this time. Yeah, almost feels too easy. Guess we go in and kick its ass. Mind if I tag along? How long have you been standing here? Long enough to watch that thing run right by you. Well, are you gonna brood in the dark or come with us? <laughs> wouldn't miss it. Damn thing got away. You thinking what I'm thinking? Hunter, hold on just a moment. What is it, Doctor? I doubt that portal is going to stay open forever. The creature you've been pursuing, I suspect now it may be some kind of Hydra experiment, or worse. The Barghest? I thought we had all accepted its mythical origins. I'm skeptical that the beast just jumped from the pages of ancient lore. No, there's something else afoot here. We had planned on putting it down regardless of where it came from. 
Actually, if you could bring it in alive, I think there may be a great deal we could learn from it. No promises, Doctor. You do remember who my hunting partners are? Yes, I realize you're all very eager, especially Wolverine. But do your best. It is just as I suspected. Hydra! I knew they were behind this. The pieces all came together a bit too perfectly. You're telling me all that mythical creature hype came down to this? He's now in no I think you got him. Shall be of great help. About time. You're lucky that's as far as I'm taking it. You asked for it. We will not be discouraged. They cannot possibly match your strength. Flame. I wasn't even trying that hard. back in one piece, I still need to study it when you're done. Might not be up to us, Doc. That thing gets feisty. The advantage is mine. Your face is sealed. That must have taken practice. There is no escape.
seems quite intent on protecting the bar guest. I would think that's a good indicator of its potential value to us. Or maybe Hydra just doesn't like us and the dog is irrelevant. Did Tony put you up to this, or are you just providing color commentary out of personal curiosity? I'm just here to make sure no innocent dogs are harmed by your theory. <sighs> Right here. likely taken many innocent lives over the centuries. You ever hear the saying, there are no bad dogs, just bad owners? Of all people, I thought you would understand the nature of the beast. seen enough of the bar guest in action to understand its nature. It's a little mean, but not any worse than the rest. If maybe it is just scared of unwelcome intruders. I've yet to hear any proposals on how we might break through the barrier. If anyone has a non-bar guest solution, I'm all ears. Get ready. Give some for the rest of us. Watch me. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation.
their mind. Too weak for this fight. Magic may be powerful, Doctor, but I am still impressed you managed to contain the Bargast. No less impressive than your efforts to capture it, Hunter. I believe in its weakened state, the creature will remain bound here. And what do you plan on doing with it now? The first step will be carefully transporting the beast down to the forge, a delicate operation I plan to handle personally. Why don't you come by tomorrow before I begin the actual research? I'll know more then. Teeth on that thing. Yeah, pretty nasty. Too bad we can't train it. Give it time. If we get desperate enough, I'm sure someone will try it. So, why are we keeping this thing alive? The material properties of the animal skin are amazing. Uh, sounds like serial killer talk to me. We need to understand how Hydra was able to create something like this. You're on your own getting it back to the Forge. I hate to admit it, but I may need Tony's assistance for this.
I almost sent my astral form to cover more ground. That means you were trying to ghost me? I caution against speaking in modern vernacular as it rapidly evaporates from the pool of youthful lexicon. Then magic will say you are uncool. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Our last conversation afforded me valuable insight into my current state of being. Your continued confidence and honesty with me have rekindled some of my own belief in myself. The Sorcerer Supreme is a role only one mortal in a generation can hold. Fancy titles impress the illusion of rank upon the world, but that's all it is. A name for one who understands much, and yet so little at the same time. I am merely a man with a very useful set of skills who worked to fill a niche. I will light a beacon every step of the way. The doubt never crossed my mind. You have my gratitude, Hunter. Perhaps the Sorcerer Supreme could conjure me up an ice cream cone? Due to Stark's contractual obligations, I can only offer Avengers-themed flavors. Nobody needs the caloric marvel that is Hulka Hulka burning love. A single scoop is a meal unto itself. Hunter, no matter what the outcome of our struggle is, you have not given up on me. That is a bond that carries beyond words and worlds. a favor. Okay, well, thanks anyway. Read or die. That's what I've always said. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Ready when you are. Really good intel here. We've got a lot. Who are we sending on an op? Sending your friends out to fight isn't the easiest choice, but we all know what we signed up for. I never ran into a steak too chewy for my choppers. I just wanted to say I appreciate you leaning on me out there in the field, but I feel you deserve fair warning. Associating with me too much can be hazardous to your health. Hazardous? What do you mean? I mean Sabretooth. 
He's killed everyone I've ever been close to. Girlfriends, co-workers, casual pals. He even killed my mail carrier. You have faced many hardships, and yet you have overcome them all. I don't like to dwell on the past. Same. Nothing scares me much these days, except getting close to people. Because when I get close to someone, bad things tend to happen to them. So, I guess what I'm saying is, thanks for being a pal. And watch your back. I must admit, I wasn't entirely confident that the bar guest would be taken alive, but if anyone could do it... And now you will do something terrible to the beast? Not necessarily. The barrier protecting Dr. Banner's facility functions on a simple premise. Only demons can pass through it, so all we need is a way to disguise the hunter as a demon. I told you before, I am not turning that dog into a cape. And I told you, it is not a dog. Besides, I don't think a cape will be enough. You wouldn't dare. My hope is that we can synthesize a facsimile of the bar guest's skin to fool the barrier without harvesting the creature itself. This really is a bizarre plan, even for you. If you want to reach the Gamma Accelerator, this is our best and only hope. More importantly, Doctor, is reaching Wanda. I don't like it, but if the creature must be sacrificed for her... Having this much demonic energy concentrated on you, Hunter, is not an insignificant risk. I just hope your collar can withstand... Let me worry about that, Doctor, after you have proven out your plan. Mistaken. I was taking a blood sample. Oh, does that require feeding it a fistful of treats? It needs to eat, Tony. Have you come to vent about Strange's plan? I did my best not to be rude. <laughs> to his face, at least. You do not believe it will work? No, I don't. But I do know that Wanda is on the other side of that barrier. And the Doctor may be our only hope of reaching her. He cares about Wanda too. Do not forget that. Stark may be after this Gamma Accelerator, but the Doctor is clearly focused on Wanda. That's why I did not rip apart his idea from the beginning. I know we both want the same thing. It could be worse. You could be the one who has to actually wear the dog armor. <laughs> True. You are the guinea pig once again. Thank you for the talk, Hunter. I feel slightly better about our chances. Can we please just get this research going now? Because that thing is looking at me all wrong. Excuse me? You get a demon dog, Hunter gets a demon dog. I want an alpaca. For the last time, Tony, the bar guest is not a pet. It's... They're friendly, have nice fur, and don't glow in the dark. Hey, Hunter. Pretty good. What can I say except you're welcome? Tony's Forge of Mystery, we never close. A power not 
not unlike my own. I'm happy to help, Hunter. 